We are so excited for everyone to be here. You want to take yourself off mute? Uh, we want to hear the, your voices. You know, this whole year we've been on these little windows and muted out. So go ahead and take yourself off mute. Make some noise. If you want to clap, uh, check out uh, hashtag Open Slam. All Let's right, all right. Fantastic. Let's get it. Let's hear it. Si se puede, si se pudo. Gracias. We, we appreciate you all being here. My name is Martin de Mucha Flores. I am the Associate Dean at Berkeley City College. I will be one of your co-hosts. My other co-host, uh, I'll invite her in to introduce herself, Carolina. Hi, my name is Carolina. I work for the Undocumented Community Resource Center from Berkeley City College. The other person we're going to acknowledge and uh, call in here too is our other co-pilot, co-partner, um, Mr. Horacio Corona Lira from College Alameda. You want to give a shout out, Horacio? Buenas tardes, mi gente. Horacio Corona Lira, uh, College of Alameda, or Colegio de Alameda. Saludos to our graduates. Felicidades. Enjoy. Thank you, Horacio. Thank you, Carolina. We're going to begin with the Four Directions Blessing. Uh, give me a moment. We're going to uh, pull up our slides. Please uh, give us some, uh, be patient with us um, because we are going to be using a couple of different types of technology. And here we go um, with our Four Directions Blessing. This is provided to us from gente up at College of Alameda, Danzante de la Comunidad, and they'll also give a, a description of what, of what they're sharing with us. Give us a moment while we address this technical issue. I just want to acknowledge a congratulation class 2021 Latinx uh, class. I just want to acknowledge some of the faculty and staff that are jo joining us today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us our first graduation, annual graduation. And David Johnson, Angelica Garcia, that are present, Stacy Shears, Dr. Lilia Chavez, and uh, Laura, all of the, um, our chancellor, um, all of the faculty and staff that are joining us are very welcome. And thank you so much for joining us and all our students, our graduate 2021. Thank you, and I'm proud of you, Carolina. Thank you. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, but here we go. We are Santantes de la Comunidad. This is my family here in Cafe Santana. And I have my compadre here, who is an actual professor at Merritt College, the Emla y Historia. So, oh, my dear. Oh. Uh, mi familia, my daughter, Tiffany, who works at UC Berkeley. Santana, she has been studying 
studying really hard to continue moving forward. And that's how my husband and I, my compañero, have really tried to kind of tell them the importance of education. And then, of course, my compañero there on the job. So we're going to explain just a few a minute to explain the four directions of Cuatro Puntos Cardenales, starting with we're going to be facing the east, then the west, then the north and the south. I invite you guys to come and like to join us and to also stand in those four directions to honor the four elements, the four cardinal directions of, of the universe. We're going to be doing two danzas for you. The first danza is going to be uh, Donanzi, which is uh, basically Mother Earth. First and foremost, we always have to appreciate La, la Madre Tierra. And then we're going to, going to be doing Atesh Calipoca, which is a wounded warrior song, a wounded warrior danza. So like many of you have had your pains, your woes, your struggles, and you'll continue. Those struggles will continue. So but what a wounded warrior does is always lifts herself up, himself up, themselves up to continue the fight and the battle. And I'm not talking about violencia or arguments, but I'm talking about the, the, the battle of educación, the battle of love, the battle of continuing to give to your community. I also want to honor this land, the alone. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to say, uh, acknowledge and say thank you to Danza de Comunidad uh, for blessing us with these the, the dance and the dance of Tonantzin and the Four Directions. We want to acknowledge that um, as Raza and Latino, Latina and Latinx, uh, we come from different places in Latin America and our indigenous roots connect. And so this is a way of honoring those indigenous roots while we know we all are different. We have different connections to the tierra and to the earth. We also acknowledge that we are, this is, a, we stand on the unceded territories of the Ohlone and their ancestors. And we also want to make an acknowledgement to um, the labor that went into this region um, by the black and brown bodies and our Asian brothers and sisters who had to put in their blood and soul into this earth. And so we're combining and recognizing those types of um, sacrifices all together here to acknowledge our community and our people. Um, welcome. This was this is a beautiful moment. I've introduced myself. 
I want to allow my colleague, uh, Caro uh, Martinez, to introduce herself, and then we'll be getting into some remarks from some of our distinguished colleagues. Caro. Hello, class 2021. Uh, my name is Carolina Martinez, and I coordinate the Undocumented Community Resource Center from Berkeley City College. And I just want to welcome all of you, and thank you for joining us. So I'd like to call in um, some of our live speakers who are already here joining us um, before rolling some recorded remarks from our uh, California Chancellor's Office. And the first person we'd like to welcome in is our fabulous, wonderful new trustee, uh, Delphine Polk. Uh, if you could take yourself off mute, uh, trustee, we'd love to hear from you, gracias. Thank you so much and happy graduation to each and every one of you. My name is Diana Delphine Polk. I am your parole psychologist trustee for area six, North Berkeley and North Oakland. I am very proud to be Latina and to celebrate our achievements together at this first annual parole psychologist Latinx graduation. When I graduated from UC Berkeley 12 years ago, participating in our VASA graduation was the highlight of my education. I was able to walk across that stage and get my diploma with my parents and my grandmother at my side. Our achievements are never our own, and our families have sacrificed so much for us to have the opportunities that we have. When my family immigrated to the US from Tepic, Nayarit, Mexico, community college was our ticket to success. Just like all of you, I'm a proud product of the California community college system, and without it, I wouldn't be here. I love our community so much, and being a part of this ceremony has reminded me of the power that we have as Raza. As one of the only very few Latinas in elected office in Alameda County, I am keenly aware of the need to engage Latinx students and alumni to harness the immense power that we have to create change and opportunities for VASA in our neighborhoods, in our cities, and all over the Bay Area. We have contributed so much to the beauty and diversity of the East Bay, and we have so much more to contribute as we move forward together in comunidad sharing the fruits of your achievements in all of our communities. Your graduation from Peralta is just the beginning. My hope for all of you is that you continue to pursue what you're passionate about, what you're passionate about and use this opportunity to give back. We need all of you to stay connected to Peralta as mentors and as examples of the paths that our students can take. I wouldn't be anywhere without professors and staff who mentored me guided me through the education system and encouraged me at every step of my journey. And this year, as you all know, was especially challenging. A global pandemic that disproportionately affects our community, the switch to online classes, a healthcare system that continues to fail us and the widespread loss of lives due to police violence. Despite all of this, all of you have made it to this finish line and continuing on to the next chapter of your lives. This is a day for celebration and for reflection as we recognize your achievements together as a community. In the words of Gloria Anzaldúa, do work that matters, vale la pena. Our experiences matter, our community matters, and our achievements matter, and it is all worth it. I'm very proud of all of you and for the opportunity to be a part of the celebration of Latinx excellence. Felicidades. Gracias, gracias, trustee Delphine. Yay. Oh, it is beautiful. Thank you. Um, as we, uh, you know, you you leave us off with this Latin excellence, right? How we show up for ourselves, how it matters, our accomplishments and these milestones. I can't, I can't uh, begin to appreciate what you said because um, we know for many of our young, our, our scholars, not just young, just our scholars coming out of Berkeley City College and and Laney and Alameda and Merritt that there's a sense of it doesn't matter, right? But it does. It's that's not importante, right? Like this moment matters. It's a reflection and symbolism to our community. So thank you. We really appreciate you being here. I'm gonna be honest with the crew and the team and the community. I got a little nervous a little while ago. I was like, oh my God, the technology fell apart on, on Martin, but I'm back. I got the energia back from here. We got you, Martin. Andale, thank you. And and. And I feel like I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our next speaker who has recently joined Peralta as our interim chancellor. Uh, she is guiding the way. She is ushering us through this, through this moment. 
I would like to invite Chancellor Jackson uh, to into the room uh, to share her remarks with us. And I have to say this to the community, you know, we offer our, our leaders choices, right? Would you like to do it one way or another, be recorded? And, and she, she said, nah, ni modo, nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna be here for you. I'm gonna be here for you, I'm gonna do this live. And so with that, I also wanted to say thank you to her for joining us, uh, Chancellor Jackson. Thank you very much and good afternoon and greetings graduates. Uh, as you said, my name is Dr. Jeanette Jackson. I am the interim chancellor of the Peralta Community College District. And I'd like to start with a quote from Michael Jordan, the great basketball player. He said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game's winning shot, and I missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. Today, you too have succeeded, not because you always got it right, but because you never stopped trying. So I'd like to share a little story. A little over 30 years ago, before some of you were born, uh, I found myself sitting in the audience as my mother graduated from Fresno City College with her AA degree in nursing. In those days, we had face-to-face -face ceremonies, uh, something we're moving forward to as we begin to get a handle on the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm the oldest of eight, and all eight children arrived early to the ceremony, which was separate from the main graduation. Um, this was the pinning ceremony for the nursing students, small, intimate, similar to the event today. We all sat in the front row in our Sunday best, and as they passed out the awards, to all of our surprise, and to my mom's surprise too, she received the most inspirational award. She started crying, all eight kids started crying, people in the audience started crying, and we rushed to the stage to hug her. That memory has stayed with me all my life because it was against all odds. You see, I already was in college then, and so was my sister. My brother and my other sister were in trade school, and the other four kids were still living at home, attending junior high and high school. Think about it not much different from those of you out there today. We were bursting with pride, just as your friends and family are today. Tears of joy and of sadness were displayed, just as it is today. The closing of one chapter and the beginning of another, and it seemed like it happened so quickly. Today is your day, a day to celebrate, to bask in the glow of your accomplishments, as the interim chancellor of this great district, I too have sat where you are, excited about this future, a bit apprehensive, wondering if I would live up to the expectations of others, as well as the expectations I had for myself. Let me assure you, you will succeed. Just keep doing what you did to get to be here today. Keep your eye on the prize. Sometimes you will take leaps, sometimes baby steps, but always, always, always continue the struggle. And before you know it, you will have arrived. Congratulations, class of 2021. Si, si pudo. I was going to say si, si puede, but I saw on the program si, si pudo. So I looked it up and it says you could. And all of you, you have. So we are proud of you. And thank you so much for inviting me and for me just to share a little bit of who I am. I am so happy and I am so proud of each and every one of you. And thank you staff, because it took all of us a village to get here. Thank you. Gracias, Chancellor Jackson. Si se pudo. Dale. <laughs> uh, we love you and we appreciate you for joining us. Um, thank you. I think that's the beauty of familia, right? Uh, Absolutely. We call each other in, and, and you were here for us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Um, our next remarks are our shared recorded remarks, um, and they come from our chancellor of the California Community College, Dr. Ila Ortiz. So give me a moment while I share uh, my screen again, and we'll uh, bring in the remarks. Hello, Peralta students. 
Congratulations on this huge milestone. I'm Eloy Ortiz Oakley, Chancellor of the California Community Colleges, and I have the great pleasure of being invited to say a few words to you. Uh, you know, as, uh, as a Latino student myself, Mexican American growing up in the LA area, finding the community colleges was such a huge step for me and my family. Some of you may or may not know that I didn't go to college right out of high school. Um, I wound up joining the military. I wound up raising a family and I didn't go to college until well after I came back from the military. So for me and my family, the step that you are taking, the step that I took is such a huge and will be such a huge part of your life going forward. It completely changed my life for the better. So congratulations to you. You know, every year we celebrate commencement. We have this opportunity to celebrate the great milestone that our hugely talented students have achieved. But this year in particular, you all have just been so amazingly resilient. You've gone through so much and overcome so much in the last year and a half not just the pandemic and everything that that brought with it, the economic fallout, um, the health impacts. I'm sure many of you had family and friends that were touched by COVID-19, but also through this period of racial reckoning. You all, the students of Peralta, uh, and you represent the students throughout the California Community Colleges. You all were such an inspiration to all of us in the California Community Colleges. You marched, you stood up, you raised your voice over all of the racial reckoning that we were experiencing throughout the last year. So I'm so incredibly proud of you, so incredibly proud of what you've accomplished, and so incredibly proud to be part of the California Community College family because of everything that you all are doing. Um, just a few, a few words of encouragement, first of all, Continue to stand with your brothers and sisters in uh, who support the Black Lives Matters movement, the Asian and Pacific or Pacific Islander movement. You all together are so much more powerful than separately. You, you know, many in our community and in our nation, particularly in the past administration in Washington D.C would love to continue to divide us. They would love to continue us, to continue having us fight amongst each other. But it's only when we come together that we're strong enough to overcome the hate that has come through so clearly in the last year. So continue to work together, continue to support each other and continue to push forward. I hope that um, this commencement season uh, that you take the time to celebrate with your family and friends, particularly those who stood by you the entire time that you attended college. And I hope that you continue to push forward. I know many of you are transferring on. Look forward to seeing the great work that you do. For those of you transferring to the University of California, congratulations. I look forward to seeing you in your new roles in the University of California. But for all of you, whether you're getting a certificate, an associate's degree, transferring, don't let this be your last stop. Keep pushing forward. We need you to be successful in order for our communities to be successful, in order for our state to be successful, and yes, in order for our country to be successful. So, hello, Peralta students. Congratulations in order for our country to be successful. So, congratulations to all of you. And I also want to say uh, thank you to all of the supporters of uh, our students in particular, our Latinx students in the Peralta District. I know the Peralta District has gone through a lot in the last several years, so thank you for continuing to put the focus on the amazing students that we're celebrating today. So again, congratulations. Enjoy this day. Enjoy the entire week, the entire month. You've achieved a lot. Celebrate and then keep pushing forward. Um, thank you for all that you are doing for us and I look forward to hearing about your great success. Take care. We were blessed to have um, 
Ch the chancellor from the California Meat Colleges to pr provide us recorded some remarks. So just in the space, uh, we're gonna acknowledge him and say thank you. Uh, throw out a thank you, mil gracias to the air and it gets the waves get to him. This is the person who's leading uh, on behalf of all the community colleges throughout California to ensure that we have the resources to serve the di dynamic, diverse uh, student population in California, particularly our raza. Um, I'm going to pass it to my colleague, uh, Carolina, to introduce the recorded remarks from our presidents. I did, I just want to also acknowledge that our presidents are in the room with us. So give them some love. Uh, President Johnson from Merritt, uh, President Besikoff from Laney, President Jones from College of Almeida, and uh, President Garcia from Berkeley City College. Just drop them a little note in the chat. Let them know you see them, they see you. Uh, and I, real quick, um, you know, as we pass this on, Caro, I, I connect, I'll pass this the virtual mic to you and we'll click when you're ready to go. Now. Buenas tardes. Ahora tengo el honor de presentar a las personas que están detrás de, la, de escena siempre, que están trabajando bien eh, arduamente para, para que nuestros community college trabajen y sean los que para que tengan todos los recursos. Good afternoon. Now I have the, the honor to present our presidents, the ones that are working behind the scenes and making sure that they are uh, they bring all the resources to you. The first video that we're gonna um, introduce is Dr. David Johnson from Mary College. Greetings and welcome to this year's Latinx graduation celebration. My name is Dr. David M. Johnson, and I'm the president of Merritt College. Today, I have the honor and pleasure of congratulating you on this amazing accomplishment. My heart swells with pride and excitement as I reflect upon uh, what you've had to overcome to attain this educational goal and what you are yet to achieve as you embark upon the rest of your academic and professional journey. But before I go any further, I have to say a word about your incredible courage and commitment. As we are all well aware, um, we've faced a lot of challenges and hardships um, as a community, whether it be the pandemic, um, George Floyd, um, uh, social and political unrest, what have you. You all have been thrusted into a set of circumstances that no one could have anticipated. Um, even a year ago. But rather than let those circumstances derail your progress, uh, you took your own fate into your own hands. You refused to be defined by the obstacles that you persevered, you prevailed. And today uh, you can take solemn pride in knowing that despite the odds, you made it. You are exceptional and you are now Merritt College graduates. Going forward, I wanna encourage you to be fearless and undeterred in the pursuit of your goals. Yes, you know, you're transferring, you've gotten your uh, certificates, uh, but this is not the end. Uh, you must dream big and then challenge yourself to go and get what you just envisioned. You must take the knowledge that you've attained, the experiences you've gained and the relationships you have forged to spur you on to greatness. That is what being a Merritt College graduate means that is what we expect of you, and that is what your family and community need from you. So once again, congratulations, and I can't wait to watch you shine. Thank you, Dr. Johnson, for your words. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. Rudy Besikoff, president from Lenny College. Hello graduates, I'm Rudy Besikoff, president of Laney College, and I'm so pleased to be among those who gets to say to you today, felicitaciones, class of 2021. Malcolm X once wrote that education is our passport to the future, and that tomorrow belongs to the people that prepare for it today. Well, graduates, today you have your passport. You earned it, it's not a gift. Today is a day for you to affirm your accomplishments and celebrate them. And as you move forward, 
please celebrate and take a moment and recognize not only the great work you did, but also any among you who supported your friends, your family, your classmates. And maybe as I say classmates today, some of those classmates have become your extended family and your friends. And that is certainly also something to celebrate today. And as we move forward, and as you have this day of accomplishment, I want to give you a small call to action. Pay it forward. You've reached a milestone today on your path, one that others will reach and try to reach in the future. Be there for them as a friend and a mentor and support them the way others along your journey have supported you. So in closing this message of congratulations, I would also like to quote the message from author Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who said, it is not true that people stop pursuing dreams because they grow old, but that they grow old because they stop pursuing their dreams. Never grow old, always pursue your dreams and accept my most heartfelt congratulations on this great day. Thank you, Dr. Basico. Our next uh, video is from Dr. Nathanael Jones, the third College of Alameda. Buenos dias to the graduates, your family and friends. I am Nathaniel Jones, the third president of the College of Alameda. It is my great honor and privilege to join you in celebration of your success and achievement. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of the College of Alameda, we could not be proud of you and your accomplishment. Despite the challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic, you persevered through hard work, determination, the love and support of family and friends, as well as the encouragement and guidance of our faculty and staff, you have earned an associate degree or certificate under extraordinary circumstances. So I heartily congratulate and salute you. Well done, graduates. I would like to share two quotes with you that complement my subsequent remarks. The first is from Dolores Herta, who said, every moment is an organizing opportunity. Every person, a potential activist, every minute, a chance to change the world. And according to Sandra Pradas Martin, our life and our success will be measured by the quality of the life we lead and the lives we touch. To my Latinx sisters and brothers, I encourage you to cherish this moment of celebration Hold in your heart all those that help to make this day possible. Treasure the knowledge, skills, and ability that you have acquired, as well as the enhanced sense of self-worth and empowerment and awesome potential that you possess. As educated members, of our rich multicultural community, I believe that you should always strive for excellence, reflect values of compassion, generosity, and inclusion. Be critical thinkers and agents of positive social change. Remember to help and support others to succeed as you've done, and to share your story. It's powerful and inspiring. Lastly, I challenge you to continue to grow in knowledge and wisdom 
courageously standing up for what is good, right, and virtuous. Make your Peralta Community College family even more proud of you than we are today. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you all the best and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jones, for your kind of words. Our next speaker is uh, our first Chicana Latina um, president from Berkeley City College, Dr. Garcia. Hello, buenas tardes, good afternoon graduates. Um, I'm gonna take a little moment here to offer some initial remarks in Spanish um, and be able to, to honor the familia, the family, the community that's here with you. So, buenas tardes, graduados, familia, uh, maestros, colegas, comunidad. Es, es un gran placer estar aquí con ustedes esta tarde a celebrar a nuestros graduados. Uh, quiero, quiero ofrecer unas palabras que yo sé um, que vienen de todo corazón con la familia. Apoyo, orgullo, ganas, corazón, persistencia, um, puro lomo. Eh? El trabajo de ser graduado en este momento no se, hace, no se hace solamente como familia, como raza. Tenemos que trabajar muy duro y esta celebración es tal para cada graduado que su familia, su comunidad, los maestros, los administradores, todas las personas que, que les ofrecieron el apoyo durante este, este camino. Um, you know, as someone who is um, first in my family to graduate from college, um, many, many of us here who work with students, we are the first in our family, but for some of you, you might be the very first in your family. You might be the first in your extended family. Uh, my mom, I, I connect more with my maternal, my maternal side of the family. My mom is one of 17 kids. Um, I am the first in her immediate family to go to college. I'm one of three cousins to have a graduate degree, a master's degree, and I'm the only doctora in the family. Um, and it used to be a source of, oh, I was working on it and I did it on my own. Um, but honestly, I never did do it on my own. You heard comments from the presidents and, other, and others that we are a community. Somos raza, somos familia. The way that our communities, no matter the color of your skin, is one that shows that this is a community effort. And so we are here to celebrate you. Celebrate the fact that you made it past that one class that you just didn't think you had one more ounce of energy to get through. That you finished that one group project, that you mended that one relationship with the person in your class that you thought I just can't have not one more moment with them. All of those are learning elements. All of those are a source of um, who you are as a person, graduates, who you are, um, the communities, the families from which you come. And, and we are honored. I think you heard all of the presidents. We're honored that you are part of this um, Peralta family. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close with one short story um, and then a quote. Um, actually, Dolores Huerta has already been referenced, Gloria Saldúa, so I'm going to share a Gloria Saldúa quote. But the, the memory that I want to share is now, you know, it's been over 20 years since I walked a stage um, with for my bachelor's degree. And I feel really old saying that. But I feel old saying that and really honored saying that because um, you know, that was a family affair. So when Dr. Jackson shared that her, she and her siblings went to, siblings went to celebrate her mom. I mean, my family was the one family that brought the matraca, right? That like brought it. It was an outdoor celebration. It was really loud, but here was the beautiful part of that. They didn't just ring that for me. They rang it for every student who had family and community. They rang it for the, for the students who they knew that we were celebrating our culture. We were celebrating um, our communities. And, um, and, and I always remember that because that's something that my mom really taught me, right? She really said um, she never had a, a high school graduation or, you know, high school education or college. And she always knew that um, higher education was going to be a way to open doors. And she used to tell me it's going to open doors that you don't even know yet exist. Mm 
And so I want to share that with you, that your, your um, celebration today, you are unlocking a door that you just have not yet crossed in your journey. And as you cross through one door, you open that for someone else to follow um, with you. And um, for Berkeley City College students in particular, I want to take a moment here as other presidents have. Um, I am so proud of you. You persisted during a time when all things should have said you could have walked away, you could have taken a time out, you could have said not yet, but you said no, I'm going to stay the course. And so Berkeley, City College students, Laney College, Merritt College, College of Alameda, todos, a todos, we're just so proud of you. And so I want to leave you with this quote, and this one is from Gloria Ansaldua, she's one of my favorites, so I love that uh, Trustee Hermana Delfin Polk already opened with it, and it's this. What we say and what we do ultimately comes back to us. So let us own our responsibility, place it in our hands and carry it with dignity and strength. No matter what your next step is, the next accomplishment with dignity and strength, you come from raíces that are so strong, my gente. You come from nopales that are generations grounded on this earth. And so um, with that, we are so proud of you. We wish you the very best. And whatever your next endeavor is, don't forget about us. Come back and give us a visit. Con mucho amor de todo corazón, um, felicidades a los graduados de la clase del 2021. Gracias, Dr. Garcia and all the presidentes. Um, I just have to say to our comunidad, like when you have all the presidents talking about Dolores Huerta, Malcolm X, Anzaldúa from our trustees, like how powerful that is. Like they're centering on us and our lived experience as a way of taking action to our benefit. And so it's great with a great appreciation uh, to the presidents, we say thank you, mi gracias. And we um, appreciate you all being here and providing the recorded remarks as well. Uh, we're getting ready, making, we're gonna make our next transition uh, into our student remarks. Um, each of the colleges selected two students to give some remarks to, so folks can hear back from the students because th that's who we're here for, right? We're here for you, scholars. We're here to see you, we're here to hear from you, we're here to hear about your experience and see you. Um, for the rest of the community, before we do that, I, I wanna make sure that we acknowledge that there might be some people being like, ¿Qué onda con la Latina X? Like, what, what's with the language that you all are choosing to lose? And so I just wanna provide some, some perspective. So as you all know, Spanish is a gendered language where we would talk about a group of boys as Latino and a group of girls as Latina. Um, but in that gender, we, we miss our brothers and sisters who don't fall along the binary. And to make space for them, the, the language allowing them to identify themselves has been chosen Latina X. And some folks you will hear myself, I will say Latina, Latino, Latinx, because I think the lived experience of all of us is important to acknowledge. You will also hear the term Latinx used as a broad term, but that's not meant to be a coalescent for everything. It's meant to honor the different identities and how people see themselves as a raza. And I think it's also important to know that knowledge that identity changes. I mean, this is this is a centering point. If you've ever read any of uh, readings is that, Identity is this thing that's a bridge. Uh, it connects two points, but there's a space above it and space below it where we make meaning of things. And so I just wanted to provide that, that, that place um, so that we people understand like why the term Latinx and how it comes to be used. Um, and you'll find that it's a fluid term and will continue to change. And so we use the term Latinx scholars to call in all our hermanas, hermanas, primos, primas, uh, everyone who, who, want, who was a part of this comunidad. And so with that, uh, we're going to share our screen again and welcome in um, our student speakers. Uh, the first set of student speakers you hear, hear from are from the uh, College of Alameda. So give us a moment while we bring that up, please. Uh, Ferdinando, the first two speaker we're going to hear from is Ferdinando Cardenas, and then we'll roll through. Hi, everyone. Congratulations to all of you on this very special day. I know we have all been through so many challenges this past year, but we persevere. 
and there is a lot that we should be proud of. As Latinx students, many of our college experiences have come with part-time jobs, family obligations, and low expectations from the people around us and sometimes even from ourselves. However, we have overcome all of these challenges. Today, we must be so proud because we took this bold decision of investing in ourselves and taking advantage of an opportunity to learn and grow. Whether you have a clear path ahead of you or if you are still figuring out what's next, like I am, I just want to remind you that you are smart, beautiful, and talented. And you carry with you a spirit that unites us. Being part of the Latinx community in the US is so amazing. We struggle, but we also achieve so much in our life. And this moment is to celebrate how amazing we are. So again, congratulations, and I truly wish the best for all of us. Want to quickly thank and acknowledge that the student speaker you just heard from, his name is Edwina Malenberg. So gracias, Edwina, for sharing your remarks with us. The next person is from Mayor College, Juan Tash Tash. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations to you all. Um, just have to say thanks for sticking through it, no matter. Hello, my name is Lilibeth. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations to you all. Um, just have to say thanks for sticking through it, no matter how difficult we got through this pandemic, um, from being stressed, fatigue, and just having eye strains through the Zoom classes. I just have to say, you guys did it. Uh, it, does, it, it takes a lot of guts to, to be a minority and be able to accomplish what we have done. Uh, many people don't have the same opportunities that we have done, that we have achieved. And so this is for all the Latino community that has never had the chance to do it. And um, yeah, just uh, my name is Juan Taktaj. Um, I am a civil engineer major, right? currently transferring to Chico State. Um, I'm currently doing undergrad research for Chico State. Uh, some of the things that has helped me throughout these years have been being in extracurricular activities in Mary College, in the Peralta system, uh, also has led me to open up doors that I've never imagined would have opened for me. So I just, some words for wisdom would be, do what you have to do today to accomplish a better future. And also never look back. So again, congratulations to you all, you have done it and uh, can't wait to, to follow this next chapter with you guys. Thank you. Gracias Juan for sharing that wisdom with us. Our next speaker is Lilibeth Corona from Merritt College. Hello, my name is Lilibeth Corona. I am a student from Merritt College since fall 2019. I'd like to start off with a little background about my journey and how I got to Merritt Let's just say my journey has been a roller coaster from not finishing high school in 2014 to going back to school to receive my diploma four years later with a two year old son. Fast forward to spring 2019, my younger brother graduated from Mary College as a podista. It was during that summer that I took the initiative and enrolled for fall semester. I made sure to connect with programs I knew would help me achieve academically. I am a Puntista, a CalWORKs, and EOPS student. And it was because of these programs that I was able to receive enormous amount of support, guidance, all of which have contributed to my academic success. I am proud to say that I graduated this semester with highest honors and I'm prepared and ready to transfer to a four-year university. Some advice I would like to give future students, and I'm sure you will often hear is, don't be afraid to ask for help. 
the professors, counselors, everyone at Merritt College and at the Peralta District are here to help you succeed. But it is up to you to take initiative of your own education. Si se puede, si se pudo, best of luck to everyone. Gracias, Lily Beth, for sharing those remarks with us. Our next speaker is Jessica Garcia from Laney College. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Jessica Garcia, and I am a Laney grad, as many of you are. I just wanted to say congratulations, and that I am very proud of you for persevering, all of you for persevering, for being resilient and for just pushing through this past these past couple months year because as we all know we witness a global pandemic we've lost family members friends jobs figuring out where we're gonna get that next meal figuring out how we're gonna pay bills and became stressful for a lot of many people in many different ways so I'm very proud of you guys for finishing up and I know it wasn't easy, but when life knocks you down, you just get back up. And you guys are gonna do great things, amazing things, and keep on being great. I love it, you telling our, our students, just being great, being who we are. <laughs> our next speaker is from Laney College, Emmeline Hernandez. Congratulations to class of 2021. It's my pleasure to be sharing this space with my Latinx classmates today. And to all my Puente Familia, um, I couldn't have done it without you here today graduating. And all I can think of are, are the encouraging words of my father. And there were some pauses in my education, but he never doubted me or disencouraged me from pursuing or continuing. He let me um, take my own pace. And and if I can share something with this class, is it doesn't matter how long it'll take you as long as you get there. If take, it, take a moment to enjoy life and enjoy this accomplishment. We'll, we'll take this day to celebrate. Um, it's been a hard year. I did lose my, my father this past year. And although he wasn't affected by COVID directly, he was, um, the process of going through that mourning stage, it was affected because a lot of things stopped during the pandemic. And I, I, I feel for those who have lost somebody due to COVID and who have lost not only family or friends, but um, resources and some their education plans got on hold and um a lot of things shut down it was it was a different world that we had to adapt in and um i'm proud that every one of us was were able to persevere through these hard times um we really made it and we probably made it look easy but i know it wasn't for most of us congratulations again to the latinx class of 2021 gracias emmeline uh for those words our next speaker is from Berkeley City College, Yanali Madrid Sarate. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Yanali Madrid Sarate, and welcome to the Raices Peralta Latinx graduation celebration. The effects of the COVID 19 pandemic and the political and social justice issues in our society, country, and around the world have affected us all mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Despite these struggles, your perseverance, hard work, and dedication have brought you to this point, and I'm so proud of you all. As we celebrate your accomplishments and achievements, remember that this is only the beginning of the continued successes and positive impacts you will make in our world. You are now transitioning into a new chapter in your life, and while it may be daunting, exciting, and nerve-wracking all at the same time, think back to your why. And soon you will realize you have always had and will always have the capability to succeed in life. Always stay grounded in your story, your identity, and your aspirations as you pursue your next goals. As a first-generation college student and graduate, daughter of Mexican immigrants and mental health advocate, I have felt feelings of doubt, stress, and anxiety as a student, and this only increased during the pandemic. But thanks to my family, the EOPS program, Andrea Williams, the UCRC, and the Wano Center at Berkeley City College, 
I was reminded of my perseverance and power as a Mexican-American student. I had to reach out for help and remember that it's okay. It's okay to need that extra help and support from others. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength because you're advocating for yourself. So as you begin your new journey, remember to reach out to resources around you. Find your support system and your sense of community. Most importantly, find the power within you. Gracias, Yanali. Yanali, always blessing with those words. Our next student speaker from Berkeley City College is Jaime Mendoza. Hi, everyone. I would like to start off by saying congratulations to the class of 2021. I am super proud of you guys today, and I am super proud of the way you guys are representing the Latino community today. Guys, I am Jaime Mendoza from Berkeley City College, and I am a communications major. I will be transferring to UC Berkeley this coming fall as a media studies major. I would like to give a huge shout out to your guys' parents today. Padres y madres que nos me escuchan el día de hoy, les queremos agradecer desde nuestro corazón por todo el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen para poder darnos el pan de cada día y también tener un techo sobre nuestras cabezas. Les queremos agradecer a todos ustedes, los padres, a todas las familias y amigos que nos apoyan el día de hoy, que nos apoyaron durante nuestros años en high school en nuestros años en college. I want to give a huge shout out to my parents who supported me and came to this country in 2012, and we have fought to you know, stay afloat and follow our dreams ever since then. So guys, I would like to go ahead and say congratulations. I'm super proud and please celebrate for me today because I will be working. Congratulations, class of 2021. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. This is the beauty of technology. Jaime can give us his, his palabras while he is working. The beauty of this. Gracias, Jaime. We are thinking of you while you're at your workspace. Um, I'm going to go back to one of our speakers who we didn't uh, couldn't get their slide to go. We're going to try it one more time before we move into reading the slides for our scholar graduates. We are going to have to roll with our next part of our presentation. Thank you all for, for listening and for the students for giving us, sharing us their words. Uh, we're about to queue up. This is, this is what we've been all waiting for. So uh, if you have yourself on video off the camera, this might be a good chance to bring yourself on camera because we want to see your lovely faces as we call out your names. We're going to call on our, uh, our primo who's in New York, uh, DJ Oakland Slim, because Mandele is the big brother watching us over there. Um, we're calling out on, on, our, on our cousin Oakland Slim to, to play the music again with us. Uh, our uh, co-host Carolina Martinez will be reading out the names and the details. So, so we want to just give you some context, which you'll be seeing as slides. Um, and each of the students have provided a picture of themselves. Um, we've also asked them to share, hey, what's a dicho, a saying that you have in your family? And those will be read. And then you'll see some other information on the slide about the student, where they plan to go, their degree, uh, their aspirations. Um, we're going to run through those slides. We're going to get it queued up real quick. So give us a moment. Caro, passing the mic to you. Jenny Garcia, Berkeley City College, ganas. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. BCC, you all appreciate it. Gracias, Carolina, Adan. Gracias, Adri. Martin, you guys are a blessing, una bendición, de verdad, gracias. Marta Tellez, Lenny College, Piste Pudo. If you see if you see a student scholar of yours, don't be afraid to shout them out. Uh, this is a good time for the comunidad to hold the comunidad. Felicidades, Marta. 
Vasquez Maria, Mary College, strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value, Albert Stein. Yay, Maria Vasquez. Bravo. Sara Sanchez, Alam College of Alameda. Family, my blood, besties by choice. Ah, you got a lot of besties. Sarah. Congratulations, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Esmeralda Barrios, Berkeley City College. Me ven chiquito, pero soy maldito. Soy chiquito, pero picoso. <laughs> Congratulations. Eso. San Martinez Strand, College of Alameda. You made it. Si se pudo. Go, Sam. Saira Noami Miranda Diaz, Mary College. The secret to success depends on your efforts and confidence in yourself. I will never give up on my dreams. Thank to God and my family. Congratulations, Aria. Bravo, child development, people. Bravo. That's right. <laughs> Geraldine Soto, Lenny College. Vamos, pa' adelante, que pa' atrás no cunde. All right, all right. Felicidades. Janelit Madrid Zárate, Berkeley City College. Gracias, mamá y papá, por apoyarme cada día. Los quiero mucho. A seguir triunfando. All right, Janelit. Uh, thank you so much. Laura Chávez López, Mary College. Querer es poder. I'm so proud of you, Laura. Keep going. Thank you, Ms. Rifa. Natalie Prado, Mary College. El éxito no es el final. El fracaso no es fatal. El coraje para continuar lo que cuenta. Winston Churchill. Congratulations, Natalie. Merit, merit. Hey. Star Sandoval, Berkeley City College. Si sí se puede. Uh. Emelina Venegas, Lenny College. No sé para dónde voy, pero voy, pero voy en camino. Felicidades, Emelina. Jennifer Velasco, Mary College. Te limitas por paredes que tú solo construyes. Felicidades, Jennifer. Proud to be your teacher. Marina Montes de Oca, College of Alameda. Preguntando se llega a Roma. Ocadina. Dang, nice. Brian Moreno, Berkeley City College. El conejito vuela en los domingos. Oh, Brian. Ashley Santos, Berkeley City College. Orgullosa de ser latina de primera generación que obtuvo el título, un título en STEM. Eso, hermana. Go, Hola. Ashley. Brenda Aguilar Segura, Lenny College. Cuando te toca, aunque te quites, y cuando no, aunque te pongas. Congratulations, Brenda. Robert Gámez, Berkeley City College. Haz bien y no mires a quién.
Jaime Mendoza Ramos, Berkeley City College. El que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. Congratulations, Jaime. Got the snaps. Maria Valencia, Mary College. Échale muchas ganas y verás que si se puede. Married in the house. That's right. Cassandra Soto López. Lenny College. Tú puedes, solo sigue adelante sin importar lo difícil que sea. Congratulations, Cassandra. Lorena Archaga Pela Pelayo. Uh -huh. Mary Good job, good job. Que nunca. Felicidades. Congratulations. Felicidades, Lorena. Si se pudo. Isabel Morales, Berkeley City College. No vengo sola. Oh, oh eso es Isabel. Nice one. Brittany Salas, Mary College. La vida es un carnaval. Congratulations, oh, Brittany. Brittany. Diana Fracamonte Vargas, Mary College. El querer es poder. Congratulations. Woohoo! Yelcer Zavala, Lenny College. Hace frío sin sí, pero se vive. Rocket Dutton. Felicidades, Elcer, and thank you for all that you've done for Lenny. Felicidades, Elcer. Bravo. Go, Elcer. Ami Aguirre, Lenny College. Muchas gracias a mi hermano, a mi mamá. Por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Los quiero mucho. Congratulations, Ami. Emelina Venegas, Lenny College. Y la dieta, y la dieta, comadre. <laughs> Emelina, I love that. <laughs> Congratulations. Felicia Ana Ríos, Lenny College, si Dios quiere. Congratulations, Felicia. Look at Lenny representing. Yeah. Meredith Zafala, Lenny College. Mi madre fue mi motor y motivo para seguir adelante. Ella siempre me enseñó que debo ser independiente y creer en mí misma. Por eso, este logro va para ella hasta el cielo. Felicidades. Para la mamá más. Judy Pope, College of Alameda. Si Dios quiere. Congratulations, Congratulations. Judy. Jorge Rivera, College of Alameda. Nunca es tarde. Wow. Congrats, Jorge. Rosa Amelia Olivas, Mary College. Ese quien loco. Well done, Rosa. Muy bien, Rosa. Sí se pudo. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez, Lenny College. It was a tough road to cross, but I finally made it. Felicidades, Jennifer. Joanna Ramirez Mendoza, Mary College. La cosa más importante es eso, sacrificar lo que eres ahora por lo que puedes llegar a ser mañana. Channel Elder. Hey, congratulations. Woohoo! Look at all those degrees. <laughs> Beautiful, Joanna. 
Ariel Azunaga, Berkeley City College. El que oye consejo llega a viejo. Eso, Ariel. Congratulations. Ma, ma, Mohda Ahmed, College of Alameda. Do something on your day that you can benefit from. Congratulations, Ma Mohda. Jasmine Toner, College of Alameda. Work hard and you will, you will always be rewarded. Felicidades, Yasmin. Go Aggies. Japneli Lara Rodriguez, Mary College. Si se puede. Muy bien, Yameni. Yes, yes. Fernando Cárdenas, Berkeley City College. Preguntando si llega a Roma. Otro romano. Felicidades, Fernando. Gracias, Fernando. Andrew Zavala, College of Alameda. When you are about to quit, remember why you started. Ooh, congratulations, Andrew. Gabriela González, Berkeley City College. No se estudia para ser más, para saber más, no para ignorar menos. Ah, oh, yes, that's a great quote, Gabriela. Felicidades. Gracias. Teresa González, Lenny College. Más vale tarde que nunca. Congratulations. Así es, Teresa. Cristian López, College of Alameda. Échale ganas. Felicidades, Cristian. Linda Montesi, College of Alameda. That is good. Ooh, congratulations, Linda. Kenia Alfaro, Lenny College. Don't even forget where you come from. Felicidades. Oh, Kenny. Emeline Hernandez, Lenny College. El que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. Mm. Congratulations, Emeline. Thank you for your service to Lenny. Thank you. Nancy Avila Cervantes, Berkeley City College. Con voluntad, todo es posible. Congratulations, Nancy. Liliana yeah. Rivera Hurtado, College of Palamira. Soy cute. Felicidades, Liliana. Yvonne Alcará, Alcantara, Mary College. Nunca te rindas. A veces la última llave es la, es la que ab la abre la puerta. Sigue para adelante, Yvonne. Yeah. Angélica Prado, Mary College. Felicidades, Tocaya. Go, Angélica. Armando Maravilla, Berkeley City College. No hay nada que espero hacer, solamente haré. Felicidades, Armando. Luis Mora, Lenny College. Congratulations, Luis.
Edwina Malvern, Berkeley City College. Congratulations, Edwina. Ooh, got the slugs, banana slugs. <laughs> oh, close close up slugs. Yes. Slugs. Monica Jen Feng, Lenny College. Congratulations. Congratulations, class 2021. Yay! Dale, dale, dale! Congratulations! A virtual matraca. That's what I need right now. Bye! Bye! Bravo, bravo, bravo! Y'all did it. A la bio, a la bao, a la bim, bomba. Graduados, graduados. Ra, ra, ra. Sí. Felicidades. Graduates, comunidad, scholars, familia, amigos, amigas, raza, gente. Thank you. On behalf of the Peralta Community College District, on behalf of all the students, the scholars, thank you for being here and joining us for the first annual Peralta Raices Latinx graduation celebration. We did it virtually and we'll do it again in person. We need you all to take care of yourselves, be healthy, be safe. Um, we want to acknowledge the, the presidents that were all with us today, the yeah. chancellor for showing up for us, our trustees, and then especially everyone who couldn't be here with us, right? But that wanted to. Um, our, our ancestors who, who we, we, we stand on, on the legacy and the road they built for us. And we want to just call them into the room and honor them in those memories. We also want to share in our, 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 our co-host Horacio, you'll see, is holding up um, a stall that we'll be sending to all the participants in, in today's graduation. We couldn't get it to you in person, but we're gonna get it to you in the, in the mail. You'll also receive a certificate from us in a program. That way you can keep as a momentum of this milestone. Um, these are things to remember. These are, these, these are things we need. These are moments we need symbols to remind us of the audacity, right? Some of the things that came up was the audacity in which we, we, we drove and strove to be here. And then also reminds us of having that critical hope, not just the hope you hope that I throw a rubber band on my arm that's a color that says, oh, look at what I'm down with, but the hope that drives us to action, the hope that calls on us and our familia when we just don't feel like we have the gas to like bring it and give it that extra ganas, right? That hope that brings in that cese pudo, right? So we want to say again, thank you to everybody. Uh, for joining us, for spending your afternoon on a Saturday with us. Um, we know there's plenty of priorities that, that you could have been attending to. And so we, we appreciate that you prioritize this. I'm gonna call in my hermana, Carolina, uh, to share some reflections as well. Carolina. Thank you so much to everyone that, that joined us. This is our first annual um, Prata graduation for Latin for the com Latinx community. Thank you so much for all uh, to all the presidents, faculty, and staff and administrators that supported this uh, this project. and And thank you so much to all the Raices um, Committee Graduation Committee that worked really hard to make this happen. Thank you, Horacio, Laura, Jennifer, um, and. Vincent, um, Alex, uh, and all of the uh, all the all the committee that worked really really hard. Want to call in our hermano Horacio, uh, Horacio, because he had he he drove the background in technology. Uh, hermano Horacio, just want to call you and see if you want to leave us with some palabras for the comunidad. Uh, I, I feel so overjoyed um, this morning, this uh, this afternoon with uh, DJ Oakland Slim. It just felt like a, like a day party, just having so much fun with you all. Felicidades, congratulations to our students, to your families, to your familias, to your loved ones. 
uh, you did it. Si se pudo. And we want to see you uh, progressing your educational journey and your career journey. We're so proud of you. Um, <clears throat> I want to take uh, just a quick moment to once again thank our sponsors, uh, to thank our supporters, the Peralta Association of Chicano Latinos de Aslan, or PACLA, and all of the, all of the four college presidents who uh, supported us in this journey. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Horacio. Gracias to the comunidad. Gracias to Caro. We love you all. We appreciate you. Scholars, know we're here for you. Go and do that thing that you have dreamed to do. Achieve those dreams. Have a plan. And know we're here for you. We can always come back. Send us your primos. Send us your primas, your hermanos, your hermanas. We're a place for them. Parata is a place for Raza in the East Bay and in the Bay Area. Any of our colleges are your casa. We're here. And with that, we say saludos. Have a great weekend. Rejuvenate. We'll be posting a recording. We'll be sending it out through our different um, channels. We love you. Hecho le ganas si se pudo. We did it, gente. Our first annual Raices Proud the Latinx graduation celebration is a wrap. All right. Gracias, Gracias. 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 Gracias.